Hello everybody, Hatchy here, and welcome to a different type of video. I'm going to be showing you how to flash your Super Nintendo Classic to add more games on it. Now, you can also do this with the NES Classic, but I don't have one on me right now, so we're going to be doing this with the SEN, with the, uh, the Super Nintendo Classic. As you can tell, uh... The brand new, oh, wait a second, this is control. Damn it! So anyways, you can see all the games that comes with it. All 21 games, including uh, Star Fox 2, which you have to unlock it by completing the first stage of the first Star Fox. So, 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 further, so for further ado, let's get this started. Now, first things first, you have to do is to turn off the console. So, well, I already factory resetted this already, so we're going to do, turn this off. And it's, so it's shutting down right now. Next thing you have to do now is to plug the USB to the NES, to, these, to the Super Nintendo Classic, to your computer, which I already done. So, anyways, we're going to switch to your computer, which I have to switch this from here. Now, all you need to know is a program called Hitachi. Uh, I can't remember how to pronounce it. Uh, I'm going to be, I'll put it in the description down below. Uh, it's basically, it's the program you have to uh, put the, I'm guessing the mod in the Super Nintendo. So what we're going to be doing first is to uh, what, press add more games. No, not add more games, Foxes. First thing is... First, you have to do is to uh, flash the custom kernel in. So what you have to do is you go to cur you go to kernel, I believe kernel. You go to custom kernel, and it says, "Do you want to flash the custom kernel?" You press yes. Now here's the thing: all you have to do now is make sure the power is on. Is switched off, so we're gonna do that. This is the second time I had to freaking do this. Hold the reset button and turn, turn the power switch off. So you have to hold this. Now the only weird thing you have to do now is to hold this, hold the reset button and turn it on. So you have to hold this for a few seconds, and flick it, and make sure the light doesn't turn on. Let go, and the drivers is now there. Now what's doing now is it is uh, downloading the mod into the Super Nintendo Classic. All you have to do now is wait. God, I hate waiting. It says Colonel Dump, but the MD is is unknown. But you continue, you press yes. Come on. Now we have to do is wait for it's loading. Wait till it loads. Damn it. Okay, now it is officially finished uh, putting that mod in into your Super Nintendo Classic or my Super Nintendo Classic. So you can upload games to your Super Nintendo Mini now. Okay, so press OK. Now, now what you have to do now is to add the games. Now, I got games over here, so what we're going to do is... What what we gonna do? Let's do Super Mario All Stars for this. For this, so we're gonna go is, uh, I believe we go to add games, add more games. Now what we have to do is find the folder, which is I put mine in the in one of my hard drives. You can find it. Uh, uh, games. Yep, the games. We're gonna put All Stars. Uh, we're gonna go open. No. Okay, so now that is done. Now what we have to do is put the the game, the uh, the thumbnail on, or the or the uh, the box art. So what we're gonna do. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna right click the game you want to put the box art, and you press download box art from selective games. You're going to let me. Motherfucker. Are you kidding me? Okay, there we go. 
Googling for Super Mario All-Stars. Watch what will show up. Oh, done. And there we go. So there is the box art for it. And all you have to do now is to sync it to the console. Okay, now, now that's done. Now we have to do is is to load up the Super Nintendo Classic and see if it works. All right, um, we're back on to the Super Nintendo now. Now, it's gonna be a little bit different. You're gonna be seeing a folder saying more games. Now you press your A button. And there you go. Super Mario All-Stars is in there now. Let's see if it works. And there you go. And that's how you put more games onto your NES or SNES Classic. So, sorry if my speech is going to be um uh, is going to be bad as shit because one I haven't been posting any videos in a really long time. So, anyways, I hope this tutorial is going to be is going to help. So, if you guys if you guys like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Hatchard, out.